In 2024, we have broken records. It was incredible, fellas, absolutely incredible what we did. Right here in my hands, we are going to reveal the car winner today. One student is going to win a car today here at CBC, fellas. Let's put your hands together for this community. All right. Put your hands together now. Help me welcome to the floor. He's my partner in crime. You guys know him. He introduced us to the big winner wheel. Put your hands together for 2003 graduate, Mr. Brad Stone. Let's go. Fucking go. Fucking go. All right. You got that for me? All right. Good afternoon. It is fantastic to be back here at CBC. I have not been back here long, but you guys have made me feel right at home. You have come to know me as the guy that gives you stuff, and I want to keep that going today. We're going to give away over $2,000 in cash to you guys, and we're going to start right now. Tony, pull up the wheel. We've got everyone that is 12 plus coming up on the wheel here. And we are going to spin it and give away some cash. So, first and foremost, spin that wheel. Jonah, come on down. Come on down. Where's Mr. Brockman at? He's got envelopes full of cash. Jonah, where you at, brother? Come get your money, or it goes in my pocket. All right, Mr. Ganazzi, let's spin it again. Numero dos. Aaron Benner, come get your money. How much money do you owe people to get all those booze? All right, Tony, let's spin it again. Tyler, come on, buddy, come get your money. All right, Tony, while he's on his way down, let's run it again. Justin Gage, come get your money. Oh, all right, there he is. All right, Tony, run it again. Spin that wheel. Oh, the hate is strong in the crowd today. Tony, spin it again. Hooray! All right, Tony, keep it going. the front row too. Front row seats, front row money. Tony, spin it again. We gotta get somebody on this side of the room to win something. Oh, look at that. Come on. We got... All right, that's going in my pocket, I guess. All right, Ganazzi, spin us again. So these are for 20 plus. Now it's 50 bucks. Come on in and get your money. Tony, run it again. One more for everybody 20 plus. Joe Canoy. 
Come get your money. All right, we're moving over to everybody that's got 30 or more sold. Tony, spin that wheel for me. There he is. We finally got one on the far side. All right, Tony, una mas. That means one mas for those of you that take French. Mercy. All right, we're moving on to 40 plus. Two more spins. Tony, spin that wheel. Just padding the account. All right, Tony, one more for this part. Franklin McGinty. Make sure you watch your step on the way back up. You don't want to use that for a copay, Frank. All right, gentlemen, we're off to a great start. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, let's help you one more time for Mr. Brad Stone, everybody. <laughs> Fellas, I said it was a record-breaking year. Let's talk about records right now. Check out this screen right here. Look at these records we broke, fellas, this year. We broke a record for the platform that ran our raffle drive was called Go Raise Dough. This is a national platform. They do this everywhere, all over the country. They said that CBC High School, they have never seen a response like they saw here at CBC High School. In our first day here in the raffle, we raised over $50,000, breaking all records. $50,000 in one day. Go Raise Doe told us that we also raised a record-breaking $30,000 in a single weekend. We are the school that was the fastest ever to 100,000. It took us four days to raise $100,000. And gentlemen, it only took us 13 days to raise $200,000. Give yourselves a round of applause. I want to recognize right now our top five sellers. This was incredible, fellas. And so help me recognize these guys. And you guys, when I call your name, please stand and be recognized. With 58 tickets sold, please put your hands together for freshman Max Doss. Where's Max? Where are you, Max? There he is. Thank you, Max. We had four guys sell over 100 tickets. With 102 tickets sold, Please put your hands together for sophomore Gavin Hurlbutt. Where's Gavin? Where are you, Gavin? All right, Gavin, well, we're here with you in spirit. We had three guys get over 200 raffle tickets sold. In third place, he made a late push, but he couldn't get there. Please put your hands together for senior with 241 tickets, Rico Strukoff. Where are you, Rico? Thank you, Rico. In second place, with 251 tickets sold, please put your hands together for a sophomore, Jack Gillino. Where's Jack? Where are you, Jack? We don't see you, Jack. 
We're here with you in spirit, buddy. And unbelievably, we had one student sell over 300 tickets. He has been a four-time champion. He set the number two all-time record for tickets sold with 318 tickets. Please put your hands together for a senior, Ben Harrison. Where he is, Ben? What's up, Ben? <laughs> Gentlemen, check out this screen right here. Check out this screen. Look at what we did. In 2021, in 2021, that raffle drive, we raised a total of $264,000 in 2021. In 2022, we raised a total of $295,000, which was awesome. In 2023, Last year, we raised a total of $285,000. And I'm here to tell you that those numbers didn't even come close to what this school did in six weeks. Now, I will tell you, our record was set in 2015 with $315,000 sold in 2015. I'm here to tell you that number didn't even come close to what you guys did over the past six weeks. Gentlemen, over the past six weeks, we have set a new record. Gentlemen, in a total of six weeks, this school has raised a total of $380,100. $75, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, we almost beat last year by $100,000. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. Seniors, seniors, you only got a few weeks left. You only got a few weeks left, seniors. But let me tell you something. Your four years have been amazing. We want to thank you guys for everything that you have done, seniors. Gentlemen, I want you to understand something, seniors, that over the course of your four years here, CBC High School has raised $1.2 million as part of this raffle. Seniors, give yourselves a round of applause. Of course, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about it. Does anybody want some days off? Y'all want some days off? Collectively as a group, gentlemen, this school blew all of those, uh, all of the uh, quotas out of the water. So next Thursday will be an all school holiday. And you know what else? Go ahead and take Monday off too. No school Thursday and Monday, gentlemen. Of course, for many of you, if you sold 12, you know that you're also off on April 8th and you're off on April 15th. Gentlemen, thank you for all your support. Everybody that got to our 12, our We Sell 12 Army. Congratulations, fellas. All right. Now it's time we're gonna have a little fun. As you guys probably saw at lunch, we got the tournament going on. We've got the March Madness tournament going on. 
We're going to have our own little bit of March Madness right now. We had 15 guys, 15 guys who sold 50 tickets or more. We are calling these guys Club 50. Those 15 guys are going to have a chance to share in over $2,000 in prizes right now. Gentlemen, I'm going to bring my Club 50 guys down right now. So, I've got our seeds right here. When I call your name, come down and Mr. Bradstone is going to get you seated. Gentlemen, you already know it, but our number one overall seed, put your hands together for Ben Harrison. Ben, come on down. Our number two seed, Jack Gelino. Jack, come on down. Where's Jack? Not here? All right, well, Jack's going to go over there. Let's go our number three seed, Rico struck up. Rico, come on out. Give me our number four seed. Bring out Gavin Hurlbut. Gavin, come on out. Where's Gavin? All right. Moving on to our number five seed with 59 tickets, Max Dawes. Max, come on out. Our number six seed, he made a late push last night with 54 tickets, Steven Irons. Come on out, Steven. Our number seven seed with 53 tickets, please join us on the floor, Mickey Tuhill. Mickey, come on out. Our number eight seed, Coming in at 53 tickets. Come on down, Nicholas Schmidt. Nicholas, come on down. Our number nine seed with 52 tickets sold. Joining me on the floor, Parker Jetton. Parker, come on down. Our number 10 seed with 52 tickets. Join me on the floor, Bryce Hinton. Bryce, come on down. Our number 11 seed with 50 tickets. Joining me on the floor, Charlie Hazeltine. Charlie, come on down. Our number 12 seed with 50 tickets. Join me on the floor, Leo Bruckel. Our number 13 seed with 50 tickets. Join me on the floor, Tyler Brees. Come on down, Tyler. Our number 15 seed joining me on the floor with 50 tickets. Come on down, Leo Byrne, Leo. Leo. Leo Byrne. Uh, uh, Leo Bruckle. Okay, Brees. Brees right there. And Bruckle. Bruckle's right there. Oh, perfect. And because we only had 15, Ben Harrison, you're going to demonstrate for us. You're the number one seed. We only had 15. So, Ben Harrison, you move up with a bye. Congratulations, Ben Harrison. Now, gentlemen, this is how this is going to work. As you can see, we've got our Club 50 Raffle Madness. We're going to spin that wheel, and the wheel is going to determine who our winner is. If you win, you move on, and you have a chance for a bigger prize. If you lose, you're out. But guess what? You still win. Because every one of these guys on the floor today is going to walk away with at least $50 for their efforts. So. Round one, if you lose in round one, you get 50. If you lose in round two, you get 75. If you lose in th round three, you get $150. If you lose in the semifinals, 
you get $250. If you lose in the finals, you get $250. And my champion is going to get $500 today. Are we ready to roll? All right. Gentlemen, I need your help here. You know what we need to tell Mr. Janazi to do? It's spin that wheel. Ready? One, two, three. Spin that wheel. All right. This is our number two versus our, or excuse me, our number eight versus number nine. Jetton versus Schmid. Jetton versus Schmid. That's Parker Jetton. Parker Jetton moves up. Congratulations, Mr. Schmidt. All right, here we go. This is a 5-12 matchup. We got Max Dawes versus Leo Bruckel. A 5-12 matchup. You know you're scared of the 5-12. Uh, oh! Leo Bruckel! <laughs> right there, Leo. All right, we got Tyler Brees. Versus Gavin Hurlbutt. This is a 4-13 matchup. A 4-13 matchup. Here we go. This is a tough one. This is a big one to overcome, the 4-13. Oh! Congratulations, Gavin will move up. All right. This is, oh, another fourth. Uh, this is a 314. Rico versus Jack Kelly. Rico versus Jack Kelly. Rico, move up. All right, this is 611. Steven Irons versus Charlie Hazeltine. It's the 6-11 matchup. This is 54 tickets versus 50 tickets. Steven Irons made a late push. Let's see if it worked out. Steven Irons gets the move up. Charlie, congrats, buddy. All right. Bryce Hinton, the 10 seed versus Mickey Two Hill, the 7 seed. Here we go. That's Mickey Two Hill gets to move up. All right, and the last one, Jack Jelano versus Leo Byrne. Jack Jelano versus Leo Byrne. It's a big one. This is that old 215 matchup. He's got it. Jack Jelano with the win. All right, we're moving on. This is the one nine, Ben Harrison, Parker Jetton. Ben Harrison, Parker Jetton, the one nine. Ben Harrison, Parker Jetton. Oh. Ah! <laughs> ben. All right, that was crazy. All right, moving on. This is the 12-4, Bruckel versus Hurlbutt. Bruckel versus Hurlbutt, the 12-4. Oh, yes. Uh, all right, Gavin moves up. Congratulations, Gavin, wherever you are. Oh, yeah, we need... Are we missing one? What's that? All right, well, let's just leave right here. We're good. We're good. All right. Here we go. We've now got, this is our 3-6. Th uh, yep. Rico and Steven. Rico and Steven. Ah, pretty, stay there, Rico. Stay there. Congratulations, Rico. All right. We got Mickey Two Hill, Jack Jelano right here. I know. <laughs> Jack, what do you think about this? Uh, it's... 
Oh. Yeah, it was a tough one. Jack Jolino. All right. Now we've got, is this, uh, where are we at here? Parker? Yeah, we got uh, Parker and Gavin. All right, this is Parker versus Gavin. Gavin is this little post-it note right here. Parker versus Gavin. This is a 9-4 matchup. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Congrats, Parker, congrats. All right, Gavin moves to the finals. Gavin, all right, this is a 2-3 matchup. Jack Chalino, Rico Strakoff. Here we go, spin that wheel. <laughs> Don't need to be present when, hey. Okay. All right, well, if I was making decisions around here, I'd say neither one of these guys can win, but I don't make those decisions. So we've got the number two seed, Jack Jolino, versus the number four seed, Gavin Hurlbut. Mr. Janazzi, spin that wheel for $500. Congratulations, Jack Jellino. Jack, hopefully you're watching. You just won $500. I know. Boo, Jack. Let's boo, Jack. All right, fellas. Please help me welcome to the stage your president, Mr. Michael Jordan, everybody. So, you're going to introduce John? I'm going to introduce John. And I'm going to do what you said. Hello, gentlemen, ladies. Thank you. Sorry for the little interlude. I had to find out what exactly the two of us are going to do here. So I can't thank you enough. This is amazing. This school, your school, operates a budget of $18 million, 18 million. We have to every year raise a little bit more than $3 million in order to supplement tuition and any other kind of revenue as such. Over $3 million. You guys just did more than 10%, probably 12 or 13% of that which we have to raise. Thank you. You basically, you basically have defrayed tuition by about $350 a person that mom and dad and you all do not have to uh, go raise, find, or whatever it happens to be. So God bless you, thank you very, very much. Um, this, this record is incredible. I wanna thank, where'd he go? The guy on the stage over here, Mr. Jim Brockman, thank you for your leadership. Go raise me, go raise dough. Who's some other one? Uh, Brad, come on out here. Mr. Gardner is part of it as every day. 
thank you for all you individuals that have made it possible. Can't possibly be done without you and this, this new go raise dough, the internet and all that was fabulous. <clears throat> We now have been doing a car for what, Johnny? Ten years almost? Ten plus years. Ten plus years. Johnny, probably the best friend that I have. I've known him since, what, seventh grade or so. He donates one car, and he gives us the other one at his cost. So Bomberito Automotive and Johnny, we are forever grateful. Thank you. My family calls him Uncle Johnny, so I'm going to introduce you to him so he can say a few words. Thank you, Michael. As you know, you guys, uh, today's kind of a bittersweet day for me. One, I am so excited about $380,000. I've never seen that happen before with a $30,000 car. That's absolutely incredible. The bitter part is the man next to me is getting ready to say goodbye this year on his own recourse, as we all know. I've known this man for now 47 years. 47 years. I was 12. And I'm telling you this story because probably many of you never heard this before. How did John Bomarito get to CBC? You remember this, Mike? I had a wayward brother. Many of you know him, Tom. Love him to death. He was asked to leave a school in West County called Lafayette. When you're asked to leave, that means you don't show up. You're tardy a lot. My dad went to the school one day, put him in the car, drove up and down Highway 40, stopped at probably 10 different schools. I'm not gonna mention the names because this is getting recorded, but you know all the names, okay? You know all the names. No one would take him. He stopped in Clayton at a place called CBC, and he met a gentleman named Mike Jordan. Mike Jordan met my father, the late, great Frank Bomarito, God rest his soul, and he met my brother and called him into his office. Right after he got talked out to my dad, he let my dad go and said, listen, get out. I want to talk to your son. Talk to Tom for a minute. Remember this? Came back out and said, I'll take him. I'll take him. Didn't care about his grades. Didn't care about his flunk. I mean, he's, he was flunking multiple classes. He didn't show up. That day changed the life of my brother and changed the life of my entire family. Mr. Jordan, right here. And from that day on, about four years later, I became eligible to go to high school. What do you think my choice was? CBC. There was no question. I went on from CBC. I got into an unbelievable college, thanks to Mike. We picked it ourselves. Academically, I thrived unbelievably. Socially, I thrived. You guys, I was not a great student, but when I left here, I was on the honor roll, and then I graduated from college with honors. Because you know why? It was cool to be smart at CBC. It was cool to have friends like all of you have here at CBC. It was cool to have relationships with other men and other guys that were pushing you to be better. That was my experience at CBC. So what I'm telling you in a nice way, I stand before you here today 
allowing myself to do the things I do for CBC because of this gentleman right here that just like the rest of your faculty and staff here takes the time to get to know you. They, get to, they take the time to make sure you grow and learn. So please, I beg you, enjoy this experience. It's, not, it's like nothing other you'll experience. And like me one day, you're gonna look back and go, God, I wish I could go back to high school. God, I wish I could see my friends again at CBC. And you're gonna be grateful and thankful, just like I am to the man I met 47 years ago and the reason I am here today. So if you could, give this gentleman a big round of applause. Stand up. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. I love you. My man. All right. Let's give away something cool. Thank you, Mr. Brockman. You want to talk about it? Sure. I can handle this. Let me see that right there. As many of you know, we do a little thing at Worldwide Technology Raceway called the Bomberate Automotive Group 500. IndyCar racers from all around the world come to visit our great city from all over the world. Roger Penske, some of the greats. You've seen it, you've seen it on TV, but it's gonna be live here on August 17th. And in my hand, I'm holding four VIP tickets First class race experience to the Bomberito Automotive Group 500 this August 17th. And Jim, you're gonna do the honors? Okay. So gentlemen, we're gonna do something a little bit different this year. We want to, in conversations with Mr. Bomberito, we talked about breaking records. And you guys have done an incredible job. And we do this, as Mr. Bomberito said, because of this community. Each one of us, as you guys know, we come from different backgrounds with different strengths and different needs, and that's what makes this community great. And like the pledge that my brother says, I'm one, but I'm not the only one. I can do some things, but I can't do everything. But what I can do, ought to do, by the grace of God, I will do. And so I want to point out that one young man has spent four years making sure that he could do everything in his power to make this car raffle successful. Gentlemen, I'm talking about senior Ben Harrison. Ben, will you come down and join Mr. Bomberino and myself on the floor, please? So Ben, I wanna to talk to you for a second. When I, I told Mr. Bomberito about you, and he was absolutely floored at the work that you've done over the course of four years. Gentlemen, I wanna let you know that over the course of four years, Ben Harrison has sold over a thousand tickets to support CBC High School. Gentlemen, put your hands together for Ben Harrison. And because of that, Ben now works at Bomberito. You can come by and see him at your next new car deal. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> so Mr. Bomberito heard that story, and he said, I want that young man to be my guest in the VIP suite for the Bomberito 500. Gentlemen, put your hands together for Ben Harrison. All right, gentlemen, one more time. Please put your hands together for Mr. John Bomberito. All right. Are you, do you want to give away a car? Absolutely. Do you want to give away two cars? Absolutely. We want to get, who wants to win a car? Somebody's going to win a car in the next five minutes. Somebody's going to win a car in the next five minutes. Did you say you wanted your head shaved? OK. All right. So please, helping us give away the public raffle car, the white car, once again, our president, Mr. Michael Jordan.
Gentlemen, ladies, the winner of the white car is, hmm, quiet, huh? Actually, a CBC parent. A parent of a junior. <laughs> Juniors, stand up. Juniors, stand up. One of your mother's parents have won the car. Okay. Juniors are standing. I want the juniors who are in the Wilcut community to come here on the floor with me. Wilcut. Come on down. Junior Wilcott. When are you going to take a car home to your parents? Tony, spin that wheel. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Yeah, this is real. I just turned my tickets in like 30 minutes ago, so I don't know how this is real. It is absolutely real. There's no way. Congratulations. Gentlemen, put your hands together for the Price family, everybody. They win. Hey, so we'll, get, we'll get some pictures, okay? All right, all right, all right. Here. <laughs> All right, you guys can grab a seat, grab a seat. All right, that's one car, but there's still one more car. We got one more car that we're going to give away here today. And to help us give away this car is one of your favorite and one of my favorite too. Please put your hands together for Coach TK. Uh, sophomores that just came back from retreat. Those you guys right here, sophomore uh, prayer. Congratulations, hope you had a great day, but you were not driving home in that car. Murphy, is this Murphy over here? Is this a bunch of Murphy kids? Coach Pingles, this all Murphy. I hope you guys had a great day. You guys did not win the car. No one in the Murphy community won the car. All right, so we eliminated Murphy. Landgraf, where's Landgraf? You guys didn't win the car. Brendan Burke, stand up, Brendan Burke. Tell Bryce he didn't win the car. Bryce, tell Burke he didn't win the car. Elwert, nobody in Elwert won the car, sorry. All right, so last, Landgraf, Elwert, Murphy, uh, Kasuth, where are you guys at? Kasuth did not win the car. Freshman, freshman. You guys didn't win the car. <laughs> Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, 
Sophomores, you did not win the car. Let's see, we got LZR. Maybe you won the car. Let's see. Did we eliminate Stockhausen? Stockhausen, you did not win the car. Let's see, what communities are left? Clem, you did not win the car. Who's left? What communities are left? What? What? McHenry? McHenry, LZR, who else is left? I didn't hear that. It doesn't matter because someone in LZR won the car. Now, we already know it's not an LZR freshman or an LZR sophomore, so that leaves LZR juniors and seniors. All right. LZR juniors and seniors, stand up. Are you in LZR? Sit down, you didn't win. All right, so this is LZR juniors and seniors. If you played soccer, keep standing. I didn't say anybody else. I just said if your soccer's keep standing. Everybody else keep standing. I didn't tell anybody else to sit down. All right, go back and sit down. You didn't win it. It was an LZR junior or senior soccer player. Is that you four guys? You're, you don't know what you do? Come on, manager. Come on down. Hey, you three guys, come here. You four, come here. All right, here's the camera here. All right, now, what's your name? What is it? Ryan, Caden, Liam, Andrew. Is there anybody we're missing? All right, so this is everybody that played soccer, junior or senior LZR. Your name? Antonio. All right. Congratulations, but go back and sit down. Thanks, man. Your name? Bryce. Stay here, Bryce. Caden. Go see. Go sit down, Caden. All right. Thanks. Sorry. All right, so we're left with you three. Now, maybe there's four. I don't know. I can't count. If I have you in weight training class, you did not win the car. All right, what was your name again? Bryce. Bryce, sit down, you didn't win the car. No, that does not mean you won it, because I want you to look in those cameras and tell Luke Shear congratulations on winning the car. Thank you, guys. Congratulations to Luke Shearer, Jr., class of 2025. Luke, you just won yourself a car. Next time you should be here, buddy. Congratulations, Luke Shear. <laughs> yeah, Luke, he should be here. Tell him he should be here. But Luke won the car. There's nothing we can do about it. Gentlemen, this concludes our raffle rally. Congratulations, everybody. Everybody have a great weekend. We will see you guys all on Monday. Luke.